Hello everybody, so it's me Astrid from Spiritual Alchemy channel and I have more predictions for world events as it seems like people really like them and I got really good uh, really good feedback on them so I decided to continue and um, after doing a uh, quite nice one for Standing Rock and Kanye West and Donald Trump um, I decided to do uh, one that's currently on the news and that is if Russia actually did hack the, the elections. I haven't pulled the cards yet, so I don't know myself what just yet what uh, the result will be and uh, what the cards are actually saying. So uh, it will be a surprise for me as well as it will be for you. And I choose this topic because A, it's like all over the news and B, it seems like Nobody actually knows like who is lying and who actually knows who it was. So it seems like there is like lots of confusion around this topic. So I was thinking maybe I can help uh, to clear some confusions as that's what we do. Uh, tarot card readers, we clear uh, confusions. Um, that reminds me, if you'd like to get a private reading with me uh, to clear all your own personal confusions, uh, there's a link in the, in, the, in the comment section below. Okay, so... Let me start with uh, the whole uh, reading. So let cards tell me if actually Russia was involved or what was the involvement of Russia in the elections. If they actually hacked the elections or what was going on. Okay. Okay. So... Um, it seems like um, from the cards I have here, so I ask if Russia was uh, involved in the in the connection in like if they actually did hack it, and I got um, Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is usually about um, getting rid of things that are holding you back. So it seems like uh, from this card, I would say that not being involved directly in hacking but I can sense that uh, they been uh, I guess having the favorite because this card is about kind of helping your favorite and trying to uh, get rid of things that are holding you back however uh, I have other cards are suggesting I ask like what was the involvement of Russia if it wasn't hacking how they've been involved and it seems like they had financial concerns uh, so I got five of pentacles, suggesting that um, Russia most likely were more afraid about uh, like the economic problems or lack of money and possibly maybe sanctions or uh, just some sort of like a money loss that would um, the result of the election mean for them. And I got eight of pentacles, suggesting that they've been kind of working to prevent that money loss. So. Uh, I'm not seeing this really like a hacking influence of try or tempering the elections because there would be some cards that would be showing me that they've been trying, you know, some like trickster card or doing something behind somebody's back cards. But the cards I'm having is that um, Russia did not have a neutral position. That's true because I'm having like this like a fear of money loss. Um, but also I'm not seeing they would do something. Uh, like behind somebody's back because there are no such accounts that would uh, that would indicate that. So I would say Russia was involved, but more in like uh, open manner. And I'm saying that they're more like afraid that they would somehow lose money and trying to uh, openly prevent that. And also I do see they actually did have uh, did have uh, a favorite, uh, and they've been obviously trying to uh, support their favorite. But because, again, it was all down to money. But it seems like, but actually I'm seeing that as a good news because I don't see any cards that would suggest there's some sort of like a personal hatred from Russia towards USA. Uh, it really seems like it all boils down to uh, money. <laughs> so it's not personal, it's business really. So it seems like Russia is just really trying to uh, do whatever they will have to do to get uh, the most beneficial, um, I would say, financial outcome or financial would be the best for them, which in this case doesn't seem to be like having a war with US. 
but uh, let me have a look what will be uh, the next step that say uh, CIA will take because the moment I'm doing this video now it's 12th of December it was basically just today on the news that uh, Trump don't want to get to the CIA daily meetings and CIA basically flooded CNN with uh, this idea that Russians are enemies and Trump is you know a threat for the country if he's not listening to it so I'm going to pull some cards how this is going to um, develop and what's the energy around that so uh, let's say what CNA, CA, uh, CIA is going to do with Trump over this Russia thing what we see there okay that this is surprising actually okay so it's funny so it seem actually that the next uh, steps uh, between like CIA and Trump and Trump was like no I'm not going to do the daily meetings it actually seems like uh, from those readings that the CIA is actually going to somehow win or overpower Trump or, uh, because I have a three of cups suggesting that finally enough even today 12th of December doesn't really look like they would like to cooperate or Trump would like to cooperate with them as much it actually seems from this card three of cups that's a card of cooperation so it seems like uh, Trump will kind of mellow down and actually decide to cooperate with uh, CIA on those things uh, even though it doesn't look today 12, 12 December doesn't look like it but Carter saying he will actually change his mind and he will start cooperate with CIA and I also see eight of swords Suggesting that they might like not just like corner him, but uh, as you can see, this kind of like lack of movement. So I'm kind of suggesting that they will kind of, I guess, maybe squeeze Trump uh, a little bit and kind of uh, restrict his movement um, and kind of make him to cooperate with them. So that's actually a funny development what the cats are suggesting because again, today it doesn't look like it at all. But the path of gold are, um, you know. Uh, hard to hard to predict without cards. <laughs> uh, so let me have a look. Like what will be also the standpoint of Russia, obviously, as they have also something to say uh, to that, obviously, because it's all about them, right? Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh, hey, this is actually good. I think um, on the history will judge, but. Uh, <laughs> I actually ask, okay, so what will be the standpoint of Russia um, about, you know, those accusations and stuff like that? And the first card I pulled was Page of uh, page of Swords. Uh, this card usually suggests uh, to push to come up with new ideas, come up with, to change with perspectives. So uh, this is kind of showing me that the perspective of Russia and obviously Vladimir Putin uh, will be mostly something along those lines of, you know what, this is old, let's come up, come up with something new. So is this like a push for like coming up with the new ideas and move forward uh, from these ideas of Cold War that Russia seems to be pushing? And another card that seems to be pushing, or what will be the standpoint of Russia? It's two of caps, suggesting so partnership and uh, cooperation. Uh, so it seems like... Um, uh, Russia again seems to be again as I said before a bit afraid about money situation losing trading deals more than uh, any some sort of like a personal um, disagreement with the US uh, seems the money won over that and it seems like uh, they're actually coming with this idea that let's uh, let's start fresh new let's come up with a new perspective and uh, let's do partnership so it seems like Russia is very willing to actually have a partnership including trading partnerships that will secure uh, Russians' income, which seems to be like the most important bit <laughs> in the in the, in this whole um, in this whole situation, at least from the Russian side. So that was the reading uh, I had on Russia's involvement or non-involvement in a tempering or non-tempering with the election, and also on the development um, how I see things developing between CIA, uh, Donald Trump, and Vladimir Putin. Uh, if you have any ideas for another world event um, I should do, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to do more soon uh, since you like it so much. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.